Call this Thompson Board of Select Meetings meeting to order. Thompson Select Board meeting to order. March 3rd, 2022, from the Donald A. Russell meeting room. Would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Manager, would you call the roll, please? Uh, David Douglas? Yep. Roland Tubbs? Absent. Marie Villa? Here. Ruth Lyons? Here. And Matt Nixon? Present. Thank you. And right back to you, Town Manager's Report. Okay, great. Welcome, everyone. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone, uh, the top residents, that budget meetings for the town, MSAT 75, and Saginaw Hot County are currently being held. Please visit the respective websites for meeting dates and locations. A public hearing for the town warrant will be held on April 7th at 6.30 p.m. at the Thompson Municipal Building Meeting Room. And a uh, site work for construction activity for Roma Joe will be conducted at the corner of Route 196 and Route 201 during the week of March 14th. And uh, we have a bridge update. While the First Circuit Court of Appeals supported the replacement of the Frankfurt Bridge, MDOT is still awaiting the release of a finding from the Federal Highway Administration as mandated by the Circuit Court's judgment. Main DOT plans to conduct a safety inspection in a few weeks and expects to release an RFP for the new bridge this month. The inspection will be conducted with a drone as an alternative to heavy inspection equipment. And on April 8th and 9th, the weekend before Easter, the Parks and Recreation Department will host the annual Easter egg hunt. Residents may register their children on a Parks and Recreation web page. That's all I have. Excellent. Any questions of the manager? Nope. We are on to no boards and committee reports and update. Any public comment? Correspondence, anyone? No adjustments to the agenda, I'm assuming. Consent calendar. Approval of the minutes of the regular select board meeting, February 17, 2022. So moved. Second. Seconded. All those in favor? Three, one abstention. I was here. We are moving right along into our public hearing, 22-11, consideration any appropriate action on the application for a special amusement permit for Sea Dog Brewing Company. Um, as we always do with public hearings, we will gavel open the hearing. That is when public has an opportunity to ask questions, express concerns. And once we gavel out of the public hearing, it will be an opportunity only for the board to ask questions and such, and they can do that during or after the hearing. So I will <coughs> open this uh, special amusement permit for Sea Dog Brewing, I think. Might as well come on up here. I'm gonna ask oh, yes. a couple of questions. Anyone here to speak from the public on Sea Dog? It did save time. I kept last year, so I bet on a lot of it's exactly the same. See, not much has changed. <clears throat> no, and actually, I don't think I saw anything change. The only thing, um, your liquor license now looks out till May 2023. It looks longer than a year, which is nice. Oh, okay, I don't That's know if they enough. expanded that. Uh, so you are normally, uh, <laughs> as your application route, um, acoustical singing, some trivia, some karaoke. There at the end of the bar. Yes. I'm just going to go through some things to check yeah. off. Sure. Um, that's in the dining room area. Usually at the end of the bar, you move a table or two for one or two pieces of whether it be equipment or two people. Yep. Um, your hours are 11 a.m. to 1 a.m., depending on the day. Uh, yeah, these days are still closing 9, 9 o'clock during oh. the week and then 10 o'clock. What I did have last year was a note that depending on the governor's orders, so I got to take that out. That felt, that felt <laughs> that 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 feels good. Uh, size of the lounge still 60 by 50. It's not a hall, so there's nothing there. Seating capacity has been 280. Yeah. Still, yeah. Right. yeah. Certainly adequate parking. And then we have letters on file from the respective departments with no. Uh, issues. 
So that's the public part of it. Anyone else? We can ask questions anytime. Is there anyone from the public that wants to say anything? <laughs> Do you feel anything you want to feel? And no, I just, um, not much has changed. I, we are having uh, a live entertainment during happy hour on Friday. We're not doing karaoke at the moment. Okay. So, uh, but hope to again someday soon. Things are slowly getting back to normal. Yeah, there was so you guys did have it in the application, I think. So I just kept it in. Yeah. Which open to, yeah. Yeah. Open to it, sure. So if there's no one from the public that has any questions or comments, I'll gavel out. <coughs> the board have any comments that they need to make or anything? Or do they just speak yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, there's no other questions, comments. So based on the findings, it is concluded that the issuance a special amusement permit would not be detrimental to the public health, safety, or welfare, or would violate municipal ordinances, rules, or regulations. Does the board agree? Yes. So I will make that motion. Applicate that I make a motion. The application for a special amusement permit for Sea Dog Brewing be granted as meeting requirements of Maine Revised Statutes, Title 25A, Section 1054 in the Thompson Code, Chapter 71, Article 1, Section 6 and 7. Second. Motion and seconded. All those in favor? Unanimous. See you next year, seven. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. They want to throw me off at some point and do something new. <laughs> I think the talent is coming next year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on the deck, you know. Right. <laughs> uh, so new business, 2212, consideration, any appropriate action on posting the list of roads from March 7, 2022 to April 30th, 2022, or if sooner if conditions allow. Dennis. Good evening. Dennis Cox, Captain Public Works. Uh, it's our annual road posting. It's just to protect the integrity of the taxpayers' investments in our roads. When frost goes out of the ground, things soften up a little bit, so we're restricting the heavy loads. Uh, I did add a couple of streets to the original list I sent you um, in regards to Park Drive I added and Blueberry Lane. Both of those have new construction going on. In them. And I just want to make sure we keep track of what's going on in those two areas for protection of the Blueberry Lane area and also the Park driver. Are any roads as we work on them make improvements? Would we ever move any off of here if we were reconstructing, or is this kind of just this is the base of them and this is probably how it will always be? This this is the baseline because of the construction that's usually going on in this area or access to an area, right? For work. Metal, metal crossroads coming in from Bowden. Trucks coming down from the gravel pits, things like that. Yeah. We don't want them to cut across because we want them to stand in main, main roads. Right. So that's why the metal crosses seems to be one of those that's always on the common. Any questions of things? So uh, the list of roads, I will make a motion that we uh, this list of roads be part of the weight restriction posting effective. March 7th, 2022, Park Drive, Blueberry Lane, Winter Street, White House Crossing Road, Cat Ants Road, Meadow Cross Road, Ward Road, West Merrill Road, Roberts Hill Road, Foresight Road, and Village Drive. And that would be through April 30th or sooner if conditions do allow to remove that post. Point of clarification. I think it's Foresight from Townsend. Yeah. Is that still the same? Yes. So I will. <clears throat> Foresight Road from Townsend out to Middlesex. Yes. So that's the motion. Do we have a second? second. Motion and second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Yeah. Thanks, Dennis. Oh, sorry. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah, you would be. Consideration any appropriate action on the over limit authorization for our MDOT. Come on and back up, Dennis. Hey, I do wasn't paying attention, right? What is this? Same, same person, different, different topic. Um, State DOT is going to be doing a surface re overlay on 201, the Augusta Road. 
from the town line just beyond the old Augusta Road out to from the compact line here in Topton out through the town line going towards Bowden. Um, this is their kind of standard communications to the town to tell them what's going on in case we see construction equipment in the area, things like that. You know, it's been communicated to all our permits and things like that are still required. If you're doing road opening permits, things like that, they'll still be coming to the town, the public works department for those. It's, it's just a communication tool to the town. It's something we saw when they were doing the um, ultra thin overlay on 196 here last summer. You know, they came in for that, for that uh, communication to you folks. Pardon? Do you know when that's going to happen? I don't know when exactly it's going to happen, no. It's, they're, 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 I don't believe they've actually gone up to bid. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it'll be happening this summer's the plan. There's half a dozen of them in the area. And that's included. I say half a dozen in the area because they put them together, hoping for one contractor for a bigger bank for the There's one here, there's one at Hartswell, Brunswick, there's one so. Any other questions? Yeah. yeah. Uh, make a motion to allow the over limit authorization for MDOT for their expected pro project. On uh, north of the old Augusta Road, heading into both. Second motion seconded. All those in favor, unanimous. Twenty-two fourteen. Consideration any appropriate action on the disposition of surplus town property. Who shall handle that? Uh, following our last uh, finance select board uh, budget meeting. Uh, we went back to take a look at some of the surplus property we had at the off the fire station or some of the equipment that wasn't being used. And uh, this is a request for approval to dispose of the property, either selling it, disposing it, or trading it. Uh, and here's a list uh, that we provided in the packets. So we're just looking for approval. For. Would you like me to? No, I, I'm just. I'm just... I've been debating whether it's worth the question. You know, look at the police department, they got an old conference table with outlays. Um, <laughs> do we need to? Is that something we really need to approve? We don't need to, but since most of our department heads are fairly new, um, <laughs> we decided to you know, it. Was so, okay. Um, it was kept for a reason that we're not, that we don't know of. Mm -hmm. And so we don't know if there's any value to uh, select board or anything. Couldn't seem to find anybody that knew why we kept it. Oh, we actually do know why we kept it. We do. Our, our former frugal EMS director, <laughs> um, it was suggested to throw it out. He said, you never know, we might want legs for it at some point. So they kept it. There you go. And uh, to town hall, we have a, an old plotter that's been in our uh, oh, office yeah. for a while, thinking that we could use it at one point, but it's uh, pretty much um, can't buy maintenance for it. Or any replacement parts, and so uh, after talking to one of our reps for a couple of years, uh, they believe they might be able to uh, sell it for us or help us facilitate mm -hmm. a sale. Any questions on the items other than the leg table? Yeah. We're out there, and if we do get rid of the two AGVs, then we're buying ourselves a side by side. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because these, as we were told, haven't even been used in four years. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that's going to be the. the Your thought space. was to put a trailer in, so right? Right. Yeah. On that out there. Yeah. I think there's other options. Yeah, there are fine. Yeah. So I have no issue with the list. Um, just, I was surprised hearing. The ATVs that we believe to have so much value. So let's make sure we get everything we can yeah. out of it. Oh. That's not... I have no idea. Derek, when we uh, get that money, does it just go right back into the general fund or can we put it towards something? It'll go back into the general fund. Yeah. How, what's the process for selling it? Uh, we'll just list it for sale and we'll have a certain time on more of an option type scenario. Are you going to put a Sam Murray? Pardon me? Are you going to put a Sam? <laughs> or if, if we have, if we just have an offer, we'll take the best offer. Give a certain time. 
basically you know what it's worth roughly and yeah. so we get the offer we want it very close to that if not that yeah the chief had some numbers at least for those two bigger items yeah so i have no issue with this list or dispose of even if and if the choice is to dispose of the table out of whatever there's been a lot going on over there so so the items for people at home, just so you know, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Um, fire department's got a 2007 Yamaha Grizzly 450 ATV. They also have a 2005 Yamaha 400 ATV for sale are those two items. Additionally, an old Ferno stretcher for the back of an ambulance, should you want that. Um, and they have an old wooden cabinet they're looking to just dispose of. Police department has a conference table without legs and town hall itself, but it has a HP design jet 500 PS plotter. So those items will be sold or disposed of. So everyone at home is ready to bid, just like the old channel 10 auctions. I make a motion that we accept this list of property for the sale or disposal for disposition. Motion okay. seconded, all those in favor? Unanimous. Well. Wow. Most anticipated point of the evening. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor. Unanimous. Wow. About 9.15, folks. <laughs>